Hi, fellow CLAM members. In the last video I sent you, I introduced you to the photo selector page of CPM, or the CLAM Photo Manager. In this video, I want to introduce you to the photo associations page of CPM. This is where you associate a person or an event with a picture. Along the left side, you see a listing of pictures in a scroll area that you can scroll up and down in. You click on one of these pictures and you can make your assignment. This is one that all the assignments have already been made. As you can see under person associations, it's been associated with Cindy Cleaver, Jeannie Googe, Judy Moore. Under event associations, it's been associated with the 1999 Nichols Tennessee reunion and the Moore home. Now, the Moore Home, by the way, is a child event of the 1999 Nichols, Tennessee reunion. So you have child event and you have parent event. And you'll understand that a little better in just a, f a minute. Now, over here on the left, you see the caption. And that's where the caption is typed in. And then below that, the description. Up here, you see who the sharer was, the person who has shared this photo. And in this case, it is Chicky. Now, I'm going to scroll, I'm going to clear this, and then I'm going to scroll down to a picture that I know has, uh, an assignment has not been made for yet. Okay, so now you see there's no associations made for this, and this is Chicky arriving at the carpool parking lot during the 2005 reunion. Now the first thing I do when I'm going to make my assignments is I assign the event this belongs to. So I click on Manage Events. And over here is an event called Cruise Carpool Parking Lot. Now this happens to be a child of the 2005 Nichols reunion. So I'll click on it. And you can see the parent event, which I just mentioned, is the 2005 reunion. Then there's an event title and an event description. What I want to do now is I'm just going to highlight the event title, and I'm going to copy it with Control-C. Then I'm going to add it. And it tells you, it comes up with a little prompter message that says, this action will associate the current event and parents, if any, with the current picture. Do you want to continue? OK. So now what happened is, because the carpool parking lot is a child of the 2005 Newport reunion, it made both associations automatically for you. You don't have to do both of them. So it's usually better to pick a child event to associate if one exists. Now you go up here to add a person association. And we're going to type in chick. And we get her. I click on that. And now she appears under person. And then all of the names that she is known by is shown here. Now these are things you can't really edit these. Uh, they're just there to show you who you're assigning this to. Now you click Add. And now we've associated Chicky with this picture as well as these two events. Now remember that I copied the event title and I, I paste that into the caption here. And that becomes my caption. Then I type in a description. Chicky Nichols Olinger arriving at the cruise carpool parking lot, which I just pasted in, during the 2005 Nichols Newport reunion. So now I've created a description. And then you click on Update. And then up here in the status bar, you see that it says it has been updated. So we have now successfully associated this picture with Chicky, 
with the 2005 reunion and with the crew's carpool parking lot grouping. And that's about it. That's how these assignments are made. Uh, and you can see that I've made assignments for all these other pictures at this point. Here's one where a whole bunch of people are associated with a picture and then two events. Well, that's about it. And I love you all dearly.